Kingdom. Focus. Greetings, Kingdom Fellowship. Reverend Erica. And Reverend Russ. Excited again to share with you as we continue in our series of segments regarding the parables of Jesus. Today we find ourselves in the gospel according to Luke chapter 6, taking a look at verses 37 through verse 30, no, 37 through verse 42. Again, that's Luke chapter 6, verses 37 through 42. The heading with the New Living Translation is Do Not Judge Others. Uh oh. Do not judge others and you will not be judged. Do not condemn Condemn others or it will come back against you. Forgive others and you will be forgiven. Give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full. Press down, shaken together to make room for more, running over and poured into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. When Jesus gave the following, then Jesus gave the following illustration. Can one blind person lead another? Won't they both fall into a ditch? Students are not greater than their teacher, but the teacher who is fully trained will become like the teacher. And why worry about a speck in your friend's eye when you have a log in your own? How can you think of saying, friend, let me help you get rid of that speck in your eye when you can't see past the log in your own eye? Hypocrite. First, get rid of the log in your own eye. Then you will see well enough to deal with the speck in your friend's eye. Whew, so much to talk about in those few verses of scripture, and we'll do the best we can with the time we have. It's important to notice that the segment of scripture we read today starts with do not judge others. And we live in a world in a time where everybody is speaking their own truth, living their own best life. And so nobody's judging anybody except everybody is judging everybody in the comment section. Everybody has something to say, but God's word is reminding us that we ought not to judge others. We ought not to condemn others, but we should indeed forgive others so that we ourselves can be forgiven. Verse 30 talk, verse 38 talks about giving and the returning of gifts and how all the things God intends to do. And I love that the New Living Translation says give and you will receive. It says your gift will return to you, not in part, but in full, pressed down, shaken together to make room for more. Beloved, when you and I give, God is intentional to make sure that our giving is not in vain, but to deliver us a return on the giving that is exponential, right? Shaken together and running over, it says, and poured into your lap. Have you ever had a blessing poured into your lap? I'm sure you have if you think about it. It says the amount that you give will determine the amount you get back. When we're stingy, we can expect stingy returns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we're generous, we can expect generous returns. When we are intentional to do our best giving at whatever stage we're able to, we can trust that God will meet us in that space. Yeah. I'll give you the next three verses, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I actually think what we're going to do is let's let's make this part two. So we're going to do this good. part this week, <laughs> and then next week we're going to do another part. So keep going, and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll do the spec next next time. Next okay, time. that sounds good. So then it says Jesus. Then Jesus gave the following illustration: Can one blind person lead another? Again, as you know me, you, I talk all the time about the relational aspect of our relationship with Christ. Yeah. And God is never asking us to do much of anything on our own or independently. Yeah. Even if we have an individual assignment or independent assignment, God still uses that independent assignment to be beneficial to others. Yeah. And so Jesus asked them specifically, can one blind person lead another? God is saying, I'm intentional to make sure I give community blessings. I align you with other people who have what you need or who need what you have. Mm -hmm. And then there's the dialogue about the student and the teacher. Yeah, I think and I, I think I don't want you to miss the, the way that all of these that they all lump together. You have the giving, you have the, the spec and you have the log. Uh, and, and, and they all lump together, but he starts with the giving. And I, 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 if you, uh, uh, when we're at the scripture, you, you couldn't see it. The scripture was probably uh, full screen, but uh, I have this thing where when we talk about press down, shaking together, I, running over, I, I kind of, I shake, because uh, that, that, that's the way I learned it. But, but I learned it, but, but the thought is that God has a way of when you give, giving back and you receiving more than even you have room for, but he has a plan for that, he can compress it. Mm -hmm. He can compress it so you can then do more. And then it says, and then it talks about a blind man being able to see how to two blind men. What, 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 what I believe he's saying in this is that you need to be around the same light type people who are, who, who are willing to give, who are willing to push, who are willing to give beyond what it is they have, not because they expect more, 
but because they give more, God then uh, will also, you know, there is a spiritual gift of giving. And I, I, I pray uh, that God continues to bless Reverend Erica and I and Karis uh, in, in that lane. But we, we are givers and we, we love to give and we appreciate uh, seeing others uh, benefit. We appreciate seeing the church benefit. But in that spiritual gift, uh, one of the tenets of that is because you give, God knows he can trust you. And so God gives you more. And so my encouragement uh, for you on today is to think about your giving, to think about how you give, not just financially, uh, but how you give in serving, how you give in life, how you give in time uh, and, and what those things look like. And I think that is what God is pushing us uh, to kind of think through uh, today. All right, let us pray. Wise and faithful God, we thank you for your wisdom that is found in your word. And we pray that we will not just read it, not just be hearers of it, but that we will apply it to our lives. Yeah. So that as we are living and giving and sowing and being present with other people in the space of community, there might be a benefit, a benefit that outlives us. We thank you for your, past, your compassion for us. And we ask that you continue just to have your way in our lives. This is our prayer by faith in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much again for tuning in with us. We hope that you'll continue to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you continue to live kingdom. Focus.